Hi guys, Chris here and you're watching Here We Are Running. Welcome back to another week of marathon training. It's Monday, we're hitting the trails for Bank Holiday Monday. And at the moment, we're going up, up Rygate Hill. Well, this has been an enjoyable treat for a Monday. You don't often get out for 10 miles, 16 kilometers on a Monday on the trails. How's your legs? Sore. Sore legs. He was out cycling in Spain last week, so <laughs> his first running for a while, I've taken him on a hilly 10 mile, 16 kilometer trail run. But anyway, good start to the week. And we'll go on to, oh, Tuesday or Wednesday next. Right, it's actually Wednesday, but we did go for a run on Tuesday. I'll put the stats up on the screen now so you can see what we did. I didn't take the camera with me. I was really, really trying to stay in zone two and happy to say I managed it for the vast majority of that run. But today's run is gonna be the same route as my 9K lunchtime route, but this time we're going for a marathon pace run. Now the last training block, we used to do the marathon pace runs at five minutes 30 per kilometer pace, roughly. We always ended up being a little bit quicker than that normally, but that was the target. So now we're going for a faster marathon time. So 5.25 per kilometer is our target pace. Now the first kilometer, already done it and had to wait a little while to cross the road. So it's a bit slower than that. Well, the run is done, and uh, for a change, Garmin says it's a productive run. Oh, can't beat that, can you? <laughs> anyway, uh, it was 5.18 per kilometer, so a little bit quicker than it really should have been. Uh, and I kept it in zone three for the majority of that run. The last kilometer did tend to be in zone four, but there was a bit of elevation on that. Um, what I'm gonna say is for the first three runs this week, I'm certainly feeling a lot better than I did last week about the running. I do feel that the fitness is coming back. It's not yet where it was, but I think if we just plow on like this, hopefully we're gonna get where we need to get to. the weekend and it is going to be a really busy weekend. I'm currently driving to Farnborough 
for the National Running Show South. And then tomorrow, on Sunday morning, we've got the Run Gatwick Half Marathon. So, I don't know where I'm gonna fit in any editing of these videos, but uh, hopefully we find a moment or two. But yeah, really busy weekend. Uh, let's get to Farnborough. But before we get there, let me just mention that I did do one other run this week on Thursday, did 10K easy. So I actually ran the first four days of the week. And uh, we're now essentially having a double rest day. So rested on Friday, rested today, although there will be quite a lot of walking around as we look at uh, what's going on at the National Running Show. But two rest days from running, uh, and then we go straight on to the half marathon tomorrow. We've made it here to Farnborough, to the National Running Show at the Farnborough Exhibition Centre. Let's go inside, let's have a look around and see what it's all about. running show south done uh ended up buying a few different bits and pieces things that had that i generally use anyway uh that did have some show offers on so always good to pick up a bit of a bargain when you're actually at the show uh, mo farrow is going to be on later but i've decided i'm going to head back now i'm going to get um nice and sorted out before the half marathon tomorrow and uh yeah i will see you at run gatwick Right, we've made it down to Gatwick for the Run Gatwick Half Marathon. Um, I'm gonna get myself sorted out in a minute and uh, get a bit of B-roll footage in for you to look on here. But if you wanna see the full race, then uh, tune in a little bit later in the weekend. We'll have the, the normal sort of race vlog for the race. But I just wanted to mention, so we've done four runs this week already. When we add the half marathon distance onto the, the tally for the whole week, it's gonna be 66 kilometers, or I think that's about 41, 42, miles so uh not bad a, a, a good a good volume five run week with the two rest days before today so um yeah looking in good shape now next week we're going to try and keep that volume going this is going to be a two-week taper for this marathon so we'll keep the volume going next week and we'll we're going to go for a 20 miler at the end of next week if we can manage that as well right a little bit of footage of uh the build-up to run gatwick and then as i say for the full race vlog tune in later in the week Firstly, sorry that this vlog is coming out later than uh, I would have liked. Uh, I've just been really super busy, so it's taken a while just to tag on the Run Gatwick bit to the end and uh, get this published. But how did it go at Run Gatwick? Well, I ran faster than I had intended to do so. So we finished it in one hour 52, something around there. Uh, the reason I ran faster was because I had stuff to get back to and it all started a bit late. So I had to get back and I thought, right, I just need to get round and get this done. So I won't pay too much attention to the heart rate and all that, so it was higher than I would have liked, but that was because I was running faster than I should have been really running, if you see what I mean. Anyway, that's this week done. Um, Run Gatwick vlog will be out 
imminently, I hope. Uh, and then on to uh, another week of marathon training. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, as always, please do hit the thumbs up button to give it a like. And if you're new around here, then why not consider subscribing? But for now, guys, goodbye.